introducing Dr. and Jackery Damager. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York. Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that a Yankee baseball fan is suing the TV station for showing him asleep during the game. Are you not surprised? Wow. Yeah, 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 for showing his picture. Watch. Join the millions of subscribers, maybe even this guy. Watch every out-of-market game live in true HD on over 400 devices. Visit MLB.tv for details. Sometimes you have to turn it off and get some <laughs> sleep. It's not the place you come to sleep. I tell you what, though, how comfortable is that? Hey! Yes, hey. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the commentator said that the man might have a neck problem the next day. <laughs> well, well, the man did not have a neck problem. He developed what is called reputation problem. <laughs> yeah, now he's suing the TV station and he's asking for $10 million in damages. Ten what? $10 million nah, in damages. Nah, nah. <laughs> he, said, he said that by showing him asleep on TV, right inside a noisy stadium where they were selling hot dogs, uh -huh. that his reputation as an American, as a New Yorker, was damaged. Wow. <laughs> I know. How did um, Jay-Z and Alicia Keep put it again? How, how did they put it again? Now you are in New York. The streets will make you feel brand new. The lights will inspire you. I'm, I'm so about people with damaged reputation. Last week, I reported to you that President Obama was voted the worst president in the last hundred years. What? The worst, maybe, maybe since recorded history. Now, 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 well, this week, this week, a respected comedian. Is there anything like that, respected comedian? <laughs> anyway, anyway, a respected comedian, John Rivers, called Obama gay. What? I know, I know. I'm just as shocked as you are. I mean, this Obama, look, look at him, this Obama, this one. This one? <laughs> this one? <laughs> now, now, this respected comedian also called Michelle Obama a transgender. What? what? And, and, now, now, this is, that one is ridiculous. I know that she has the arms, and but that is ridiculous. Cool, now, now, <laughs> now, watch, watch the comedian. And do you think that the country will see the first, the United States will see the first gay president or the first woman well, we president? We already have it with Obama, so let's just calm down. Got it. No, Michelle is a trans. I'm sorry, she's a what? A transgender. We all know. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, she said it. She's, the media went crazy over her comment. She appeared on CNN to clear things up. This, sure. this is how the interview ended. What? No way. Oh, you know, I'm going. I really am going because all you have done is negative. No. All you have done is negative. I haven't heard that. I made people laugh for 50 years. I am put on earth to make people laugh. My book is funny. I wear fur that was killed 15 years ago. I work for animal rights. Stop it with, and you do this, and you're mean, and you're that. You are not the one to interview a person who does humor. Sorry. Are we serious? <laughs> she said, I make people laugh for 50 years. I am put on this earth to make people laugh. You are not the one to interview a person who does humor like me. Sorry. Now, next time that humble prince calls me in uh, to appear for interview on his uh, that yeah, yeah, Sahara TV, Sahara, Sahara FM radio. Yes, yes. I think I might do something like that. <laughs> Just tell him sorry, get up and walk away. Now, now in a surprising move, eh, Republicans all denounced John Rivers. They said, they said, there is no way Obama is gay. They said that, that if he's gay, that will make him one of us. <laughs> Anything to make him different, you know. <laughs> 
and you thought your president was having a hard time, would he like to switch places with Obama? Will Jonathan switch pl places with Obama? No, no. I no. Don't think so. Paul Barack, Paul Barack, eh? Just to keep up appearances, Obama went to Denver to meet people. He went there to meet regular Americans, ordinary Americans, and they came to see him. One even offered Obama weed. <laughs> Ibo? What? I know, Ibo. If you were Obama, what would you do? What, what will you do? Watch, watch Obama. Here we go, bro. Green team! Green team! Green team! Green team! Yeah. You want to hit <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. The guy said, yo, bro, yo, bro. <laughs> you want a hit? Yo, bro. <laughs> Obama being a gentleman, eh, that he is, mm -hmm. just took a puff. <laughs> and handed it over to the man. <laughs> Long one. <laughs> and then handed it over. <laughs> just, just kidding. Obama did not do anything like that. He just told the man, don't forget that I spent my early years in Kenya. Been there, done that. <laughs> yes, yes. Now I'm talking about people who have been there and done that. Germany did that to Brazil? No, no. If you don't know the score of that game, welcome to planet Earth. <laughs> Tuesday was the worst day in Brazilian history. The Germans invaded and Brazil's defense crumbled. Now, now, I have a theory about what happened. It's not the kind of thing you hear on late night TV, not on Keeping It Real and all those crap. This is advanced thing. Now, listen, I think the Germans are feeling, they're still feeling guilty about the World War, the Second World War, how they killed the Jews. Wow. They had hoped that by scoring as many goals as they could, uh -huh. their man, Adolf Hitler, who is hiding in Argentina, you know, I hope you know, eh. will come out of hiding. <laughs> eh. Sadly, sadly, that did not happen. Yes. <laughs> as a result of the trashing of Brazil, FIFA, the world soccer governing body, they made two announcements this week. Number one, anything that loses by six goals and above at the World Cup, must defeat the female team of the winning side before they reappear at the World Cup. <laughs> That's the first pronouncement. The second one was that FIFA banned Nigeria from competitions. No more. I know. Many people were surprised that. What did Nigeria do? But the reason is very simple. Brazil said that the juju that they used for this game against Germany came from Ijebode. <laughs> yeah, they said it's from Ijebode. Me, me. I think someone made a mistake. They buried the juju at the wrong goalpost, you know. If they had buried it at the right goalpost, the goal would have gone the right way. Now, at some point during that game, the United Nations called an emergency security council meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the subject of that meeting was how to send UN peacekeeping forces to Brazil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, how is, um, it's approaching 100 days since the girls, our girls were abducted. How are they, have we found them? No. Now, now this week, President Jonathan launched what he called Safe Schools Initiative. Here is the president talking about it. Watch. When the country is passing through stress within this period caused by the excesses of the Boko Haram sect. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear what he said? He said, country is passing through stress in this period caused by excesses of Boko Haram. Wow. Now, I thought we agreed long time ago that he will no longer use that phrase, excesses of Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. eh? Look at him, look at him. Look. Excesses of Boko Haram must stop. Excesses of Boko Haram must stop. <laughs> when is Boko Haram activity okay and normal and within reason? And when is it an excess? When? Hmm. Is slashing the throats of schoolboys okay? Why are the kidnapping of schoolgirls in excess? Mr. President, please explain. You see, you see, this is what I've been saying. Nigerians expect the best from the president, mm. especially at this time when the whole world is, um, is, um, is, um, you know what, you know what, let's hear it from the, pre let the president finish it for us. Watch. Nigerians will expect the best from you, especially at this time that the whole world is, uh, is uh, just like it's competition globally. <laughs> Now, at the other end of Abuja, making their own noise are the delegates to the national conference. Hmm. I know, I know, they are still there and they are still getting paid. <laughs> what better job can you ask for? Eh? Millions of naira for sitting down making noise. Now, this week, they made some interesting observations. The delegates threatened to rename Nigeria. <laughs> and they also said that for every three Nigerians, you will have a state in your name. Wow. A state for every three Nigerians. Yeah. Eh? 
Hey, I'm not making it up. The National Conference wants 19 new states. Hey. Add that to the 36 that we already have. We hey. will get about 55 states. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I mean, why wouldn't they just go for a cool hundred states? <laughs> so that it will be easy for students now in primary school. How many states do you have? Hundred. Now, I hope these states won't come with their own governors. <laughs> because with 19 new governors, each collecting at least 2.5 billion in security votes. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, you can, you can run because you have, your brothers and sisters will vote for you and you win. With each state governor collecting 2.5 billion in security votes, Nigeria will be broke in 19 days. No, no maybe highest 19 months, highest. Now, when it came to how to share the national cake, <laughs> the big one, the delegates, they disagreed. Watch them. The most important thing, what they are saying, they are just talking about sharing. What are you sharing? We are talking about people in the community, the people in the rural area. Once money is given to them, does it go down to them? I have never told you this. Eh? These people are not serious. I'm telling you, they are not serious. Are you doubting me? Watch more. I think we all agreed it was, uh, it was uh, okay. So, application granted is great. Application granted is great. All right. <laughs> application what? Application what? I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, this is are only in America story. Hmm. I don't know how you are doing with the uh, on in the SAC department. You know what I mean? Hmm. <laughs> but no matter how good you think you are doing, hmm. after hearing this story, you will be ashamed of yourself. What? Yes, yes. Why? The fattest woman in the world hmm. recently told the press that she has sex seven times a day to keep seven fit. Seven times. Seven times a day to keep fit. <laughs> It turns out that she wasn't making it up. <laughs> this is what her husband told the newspaper. He said, it's hard to position her and find her pleasure spots as she has a lot of fat in her pelvic area. But it turns me on knowing she is satisfied. Although once, when she got on top, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> now, now, seven times a day. Now, take another, another look at the woman. I will wait. I will, I will wait for you to write your own joke. Make up your own joke. <laughs> All that I will add to this is that she is definitely the wrong person to advertise sex as a way of achieving fitness. I'm, ju I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Here are some stories making headline news across Nigeria this week. How President Jonathan was misled about Boko Haram. <laughs> now, now, my friends, this is, this is not, it's not too late, eh? Let those who misled him, eh, mis mislead him the other way. Just like that, drag him the opposite direction. Chikina, everything will be alright. Yeah. Two heads of states, Emir, plead for Nyako, Governor Nyako of Adamawa State. <laughs> now, you guys know that he's facing the impeachment and he's running around trying to avoid the impeachment. How are the mighty fallen, eh? Tell it not in a memo. Publish it not on the streets of Asorak. Hmm. A whole general, Adamawa. Imagine. 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 Terrible. Imagine. <laughs> Terrible. Ohane is a box Okorocha on ID card for nothing else. <laughs> now, now, now. This is to fight Boko Haram in Imo State. The governor is giving all nothing else ID card. Hmm. One will say you are Boko Haram, one will say you are not Boko Haram. Hey. <laughs> now, now, I, I look forward to your tears when northern governors start issuing ID card for Igbo people mm. in the north. Yes, one, one will say you are Nyamere, one will say... <laughs> anyway, HND holders drag the federal government to court over discrimination, reports Vanguard News. Wow. Now, now I, I, am, I am in support of this, their lawsuit. But unfortunately, the judge threw out the court brief by the HND people, saying that it's full of grammatical errors. I'm wow. like, I'm like, how did that happen? How? <laughs> how now? Ah, terrible. Rampaging soldiers born uh, buses that belong to Lagos State for killing one of their own. What? Yes, these are unknown soldiers. Hmm. 
I hereby order the GOC commanding these soldiers to send them straight to Sambisa Forest. Straight. Let them go there and fight the real people, Boko Haram. If they are strong, nonsense. Oh. Nonsense. Mm. President Jonathan waits into NFF ego crisis. Mm. Nigerian Football Federation and, and the Super Egos. After the World Cup, they are in trouble. Mm. And Jonathan immediately waits into the crisis. Okay. I'm like, please, please, <laughs> wake me up when he waits into Sambisa Forest. <laughs> There's a crisis going on here. Why is he not there? I don't know. Nonsense. Police parades baby factory operators in River State. Mm. Now, this is common all across uh, southern Nigeria. You know what I've been thinking, eh? What? I think it will sound better if we, if we call this baby factory what the original name. Mm. It's called Third World Fertility Clinic. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> My dad falls in love every 10 years, says Baba Ijabu's son. Every 10 years? I'm like, I'm like what is the big deal? Eh? Wow. This is, there's nothing big about this. I fall in love every time I see Cold C's picture. <laughs> I'll pray for what? <laughs> it's time for you, huh? Yeah. Eva. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for you, huh? Email. Do we have emails today? Yes, doctor. Every let's, day. let's hear them. Let's hear them. Okay, our first email is from Richmond in Malaysia. My friend. Right. It's my friend we used to eat his cereal together. Ask him. Go ahead. I'm sure. Go ahead. I'm sure. He said, Dear Dr. Damages, I hail you and everybody under you for the good work. Make you do find a replacement for tomato juice because all the men where they write to you, I too they enter. Because I feel the wedding bell go soon ring. <laughs> Dr. Damages, tell them, make them sell all the private jets for Niger. Make them take give us good roads and light. If them say no, we go fast and pray to make the jets them go missing, like the Malaysia one. Ah. If, the pre if the president of Malaysia, or Malawi, sorry, can sell the only private jets when she got, I see no reason why governors and ministers should own a private jet when we get things to use money for those. I understand. Uh, my friend Richmond, Richmond, uh, you see, your problem is poverty. Hmm. Poverty. If they do all these things you are asking them to do, eh? like sell their jets, give you light, give you good roads, eh? what would differentiate you, a poor man, from them? How would we know the difference? Now, one of them told me last week that when, if they give poor people like you mm -hmm. eh, good roads, 24-hour light, mm -hmm. good food, mm -hmm. good hospital, good school, that you will stop fasting and praying. What will you do with yourself if you stop fasting and praying? You understand? This is deeper than what you think. Think about it. Next! Our second email is from Moses in Ukraine. Is that your friend? Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't know him. <laughs> I don't know him, but it's, You see Moses? He's, no, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> he says, Hello, Dr. Damages. You know I like your show. But why do you report only bad things it's, about Africa? Uh, this most is why, especially Nigeria. <laughs> this is why I said I don't know him. Your colleague Adiola reports uh -huh. when there's progress. It's Adiola Camp. <laughs> I don't know him. Go ahead. And when there are bad things, she reports as well. That shows her true citizenship. No father would like to provide good things for his son when the son does not appreciate them. Dr. Damages should not only damage the body, but he should damage diseases as well. Please tell those selfish people to, at the confab to stop additional state creations. Nigeria's problem are bad leadership and citizenship and not about number of states. They should make decisions to reduce the cost of governance in order to get enough funds for capital projects. Anybody that supports more state creation is selfish and corrupt. You see, you see, that is the problem with ordinary people like you, Moses. <laughs> eh? Ordinary. Ordinary people, <laughs> you look at things in reverse. Do you, those people you see at the national conference, they are not there to solve your problems. Hmm. They're there to take care of themselves. I bet you that two thirds of those who will become governors of these new states, they are delegates of that conference. That yeah. is how things are. Think! People think! Next! <laughs> Our third email is from Sally Africa. He writes, On a very serious note, I sincerely appreciate that my last email was read. Uh. The fact is that people like you, with shows like this, assure us of hope for a revolution. Re revel what? Revel, revel, revolution. The, the one day. Where, the, where, where they kill people. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Dr. Damages, I believe corruption is a goddess that has brought nations like Nigeria to their knees. The only way is to purge the bicuspid valve of the heart what? of politicians who wine and dine with her. Hey. I love what you're doing. Keep it up. 
and three bosas for your nurse. Bosa, bosa, bosa. <laughs> hey. hey, listen, my friend. <laughs> I don't understand what you are saying. Eh? Hope for revolution. I am rooting for evolution. Eh? Yeah, you're talking about goddess, like like who, queen queen of Sheba. 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 Can mm -hmm. can anything be wrong with a goddess? I think your problem is is that you're confusing stealing with corruption. My hmm. friend, my friend, go and update your software. Stealing, <laughs> stealing is not the same thing as corruption. <laughs> Shuba. Shuba. Next. Our fourth email is from Don in Malaysia. He writes. Don. Yeah, we read him last week. His email. Yeah. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Since I started watching your show, I must commend that you are really good uh -huh. and are an international broadcaster. Ooh. Yeah. International. <sighs> Keep it up, and until that country know the best thing to do among themselves. The best thing to do is for us to divide the country into three ethnic groups in our Niger. Biafra, Odurwa, and I don't even know the northern part name. So my Dr. Damages, please help me talk to Jonah. Oh. Now that the power in, is in his hand, let him just sign the paper and let us go because we, we talk say we don't tell till they leave as one nation. If people where they give small picking breasts say her breasts don't finish, the small picking will start to eat fufu, amala, eba. Right. So make them allow us to be and be on our own. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. You want me to talk to a bell a good luck to sign papers for you to get your Biafra? Eh? Why not? Wait, wait, wait. Which British <laughs> king eh, signed paper for America to get their country? Which Sudanese president signed paper for South Sudan to become an independent country? If breast milk finish, eh, there is lactogen and there is a camel. Hey! Pa, eh, you cannot jump wow. from to fufu when Peking no get it. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Next? Fufu, that's my favorite too. Yeah, Thank I know. You. I know. That's why I, I dropped it for you. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our fifth email is from Bush Doctor. Hey! You know him? Yeah, he used to write, but now he, I thought the he was don't. lost in the bush. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. He writes, oh, God damages, long time. I know, you this see what I'm saying? Bush. <laughs> I this is bush doctor. I get one good news for you all. Uh -huh. uh, they said I don't give them good news. This is good news. <laughs> go ahead, bush doctor. A cream where they work as condom. Eh? What? Me, I'm just reading, you know. Go, go a ahead. cream where they work as condom is available even for small chemists near you. Just waka go near any chemist. Ask them for abonika bam. What? Abonika bam. Is Aboniki. Aboniki bam. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the email? It's the email. I'm just reading the Bush, email. Bush doctor. Huh? <laughs> this is an advert. It's not this, done. It's not done? It's not done. Okay, go ahead. He said go to the chemist and ask them for ob aboniki bam. Yeah. Now him be that. When you want service woman, go bam. Then enter no HIV or AIDS fit catch you. Tomato just had to heal you. Eh? Is this is this life? That's your bush doctor. Bush doctor, eh? This is an advert. Eh? You just got your product <laughs> advertised. Exactly. So you owe us one four hundred and nineteen dollars. Four one nine. And for every person that watch this show, an additional nine ninety nine dollars. You understand? That's what you owe us. <laughs> Next. Our fifth email is from Moshu. He writes, "Why only bombing stories every time, doctor? Other stories, please." Dr. Damages, what underwear are you wearing? What kind of emails are these today? No, 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 go ahead. I'm, I'm calm. I'm, I'm not going to lose my cool. <laughs> he said, are you wearing boxers or briefs? And then he goes on to me, Tomato Joss, what color, of what color of panties are you wearing? White, black, or another? Where are we? Are we, are we in the studio? Mishu. Um, hmm. <clears throat> you see, you see, people often ask me, why is it that Boko Haram people hate us so much? Hmm. Eh? Why do they hate Western education? This is it. It is people like you that make Boko Haram eh, to hate us. You look me from head to toe, eh, a whole chief like me. Eh, you had the audacity to ask me this hmm. question. Don't worry, don't worry. Eh? No be your fault. If Jonathan has sent you to Simbasi Forest, eh? Sambisa. Sambisa Forest, whichever one, eh? You won't, be, you won't have the audacity to write this stupid email to mm, me. Mm, eh? mm, mm. But uh, by the way, it's, it's brief. <laughs> it's brief. <laughs> That's all the time we have for emails. <laughs> he thinks I'm afraid of answering his questions. I'm not afraid of any questions. All of you, say what you want. That's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at 
gmail.com and follow us on twitter at dr damages now here is my concern for today it's taken from the book see me see trouble by hmm. william jones it says the greatest discovery is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitude wow yes 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 hmm. until next week i'm dr damages i diagnose you heal yourself <laughs> Mushu got me really These mad. These people are trying us. Mushu. They are trying us. Mushu. This is why Boko Haram is after you. And the answer is another. <laughs> no black, no white. It's another. Okay? <laughs> are you happy now? Alright. See you, you next happy? week. <laughs>